Hey, boss. How about you hurry up the killing monsters and bad guy shit so we can get out of these goddamn creepy mountains? Cable car to the radio tower. Does it work? Not since insurgents took control. They have the car on their side. You could try saying pretty please. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. What about the other one? I wouldn't risk it. Goes too close to the volcano. That thing's active? I mean, it spews lava from time to time, but there's something far less natural lurking in there. What's the story with your volcano? Whatever's in there, even the insurgents keep their distance. We learned the hard way. The thing stayed below the fog, dragging them down the cliffs, spraying flames. I never saw it, just heard the screams. By the time we dragged the cable car back, there was nothing but blood and ash. So, before I can use the cable car, I gotta go deal with that volcano. What, are you kidding? You got some kind of a death wish? Just tell me how to get there. Oh. Altered. I'm Captain Dunham. There's a path that'll take you further up the mountain. Come on. How much bigger can they get? Nearly every creature we've encountered on this planet has evolved rapidly since we landed in unnatural and lethal ways. What remains unproven is whether they've been adapting to the anomaly's hostile conditions or being changed by the anomaly. Though what the hell does it matter? Just don't let any of them close enough to eat you. Altered. We're all wishing you'd been with us months ago. Now we might have a fighting chance at taking back this mountain. Just tell me how to work the cable car, Captain. I need to get my scientist up to that tower. Right. Only one small problem. The cable car we control doesn't go to the tower. It goes straight to the heart of the insurgent base. The second you land, you're gonna get swarmed. But... If you can wipe out enough of them, and take back control of the radio tower car for us, I'll send your scientist across. Sounds like a plan. Hey! I'm sorry, it doesn't feel right asking you to do this alone, but after what you pulled off with that volcano... Look, your men have it rough as it is. I can handle it. Captain, I've freed the cable car. It's yours. Oh, if your frequency really works, if that radio tower leads us to the signal, if we can contact the Flores, 
Needless to say, this can change everything. One step at a time, Doc. Let's just get you over here in one piece. Yes. That would be nice. Hold it. The signal. That's... No, we're too far away. There's too much interference from the anomic coordinates. But, I have a direction. What is it? It's either in the forest or somewhere beyond. What aren't you telling me? Nobody's ever come back alive from the forest. Yeah, I figured you were going to say something like that. Listen. You hear that? Something's under the signal. Is that is that a noise? Whatever it is, let's not keep it waiting. Yako, prepare the truck. We're heading towards the forest. Oh, the forest? Of course. Driving into savage, uncharted territory and breathing a fungus that liquefies your organs was on my list of things to do today. You know, if I had a fucking nickel for every time... Maybe we switch the radio off for a little while. <laughs> You're just gonna make it worse. No, I got it. I got it. So, we've got problems. Insurgents have taken the quarry, and the only road headed east has been mine. There's no way through unless we talk to Corrigan. He's the Grand Marshal up in Trenchtown, and he is not known for being generous to strangers. Fortunately, I told that charming young lady out there that we were headed east, and now... Don't she... tell people where we're going. Right, I wouldn't normally, but it turns out she's Corrigan's associate. She'll give us an intro if we help her drive up a package what kind of package <clears throat> try anything girly and your short pathetic life is over oh, it ain't over till it's over sweetheart <laughs> you who are you Chana? <laughs> i go to the end of the fucking world and you're still in my fucking face Go drown in your bottle, asshole. Why am I not surprised to see you in chains again? <laughs> that girl. Is she a friend of yours? Someone from a long time ago. Any reason she hates your gut so much? Many. That woman, who is she? Doesn't matter. Look, we drop her off as soon as we can, and we'd be on our way. Okay? End of story. I have a feeling it's not. Let's go. Buckle up. We're moving out. So, you gather your flock.
tried so hard to never see this place again. Hey, keep your trap shut. <sighs> Where do I find this Corrigan? The big bunker. I'll let him know you're coming. Though your kind's pretty hard to miss. So, this is Gutman's new altar. She sent you to intimidate me? Aren't you both on the same side? <laughs> Today? I just need passage through your minefield. I don't want to waste my You're time. You're a prisoner. What did she do? My fortune teller predicted victory. And my men walked into an ambush. I told you what you wanted to hear. I can't force the fucking visions. I've told you- Sick of your bullshit! <sighs> we fight tomorrow with no altered at our side. You've got serious issues. You have an altered right here. You will fight with his men tomorrow, yeah? Just let the girl go. I don't have time for this. Who the hell is she to you? She's like some kind of daughter to me. Oh, hold on. You, you had a daughter? Nah, maybe more like I was screwing her mom for a couple of years, and maybe her aunt. Facts are blurry. Uh, I like this arrangement very much. They want the passage east and the witch. Fine. <laughs> you would take Seth's place in battle? Wait. Seth is here? <laughs> the Great Altered was last seen out in the wreckage zone, hunting one of your kind. Then I'll go find him. You do that. The assault's tomorrow at dawn. If I'm to give up my oracle, I expect to see one of you back here. Or our deal yeah, is... Yeah, yeah. Hey. Thank you. Leave the truck again, and I'll weld you to the wheel. <laughs> well, fuck me. Jakob, Seth's dead. What? How? He's never been defeated. <sighs> you see, they call him Moloch. Jakob, there's another altered out here. Someone more powerful than Seth. Well. That's just fucking awesome. You remember anything about Earth? I remember a roadrunner and this uh, coyote. I remember laughing so much. I couldn't stop. It's amazing to think they kept playing cartoons right to the end. I mean, my whole generation. We went to school, we played games online, we hung out with our friends, knowing we wouldn't grow up. Well, you did. Yeah. I grew up to see most people I know die. Grew up a refugee with bombs falling every night. And yet, I still feel guilty. Victory! A great new altered fights at our side. Together, we shall fuck them up! Come on! 
Move, move! Ha ha! Oh, that was easy peasy! Mwah! You still kissing that piece of junk, Coleman? Hey, at least it's better than kissing the sergeant's ass. <sighs> Give me that. What is that, anyway? That's from the old world. Oh, you wouldn't understand. You can't even fucking read. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. It's not a fucking library for war. Hey! My grandma was a general. Shut the fuck up, man. You didn't know your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Do you see that? not with you. Oh, it is now. You fight with them. That means you die with them. So you thank a girl for saving your life? I knew my fortune teller was gold. She saw exactly where you were buried. I'm done, you said. A deal's a deal. You're free to go. Shit prophecies can be someone else's problem. The assault. Tell me this pounding headache was worth it. <laughs> the news is good. Of course, it was a bloodbath. But while you were entertaining that abomination, we took back the front. Are you sure I can't entice you to stay? Life is good around here for the altered. The glory of battle. Women, men, worshippers at your feet. Thanks. There's somewhere I gotta be. East? The quarry's overrun. Past that's the edge of the world. What does Gutman have you looking for? Passage through the minefield. That was our deal. Marshal Bailey knows the way. She'll see your convoy through. What? No fucking way! Guide us over radio, draw a map. We are not taking her. We? I never said you were coming. <laughs> I'd say you always had a home here, Altered. But I don't think you'll be coming back alive. Would you piss off? I don't need anyone else to babysit. I can take care of myself. Not where we're going. Hey, just wait! It ain't over till it's over. China! What? Did what you was just... that? It's how I know I'm supposed to go with you. The anomaly fucked me up, too. But I only get the visions. Always horrible visions all my life. Except one. One that's beautiful. It's this planet, but it's lush and it's green. It's, it's in the future. And there's always someone there with me. I could never see the face, but the voice. It's you. Whatever it is you're doing, I know it's gonna work. Because in the end, 
We're in that meadow together. These visions, how do you know they're real? How do you know yours are real? I don't see the future, just shitty things that have already happened, except once, actually. The first time it happened, I... I saw you. Well, there you go. Where did these visions come from? The anomaly that killed my mom. I ripped through a hut in the middle of the night. Decided to spare me. It just fucked with my head. I'm sorry. The bad, violent, awful shit. That's all I ever see. I was a kid when it happened. <laughs> I used to think I was going insane. But when you figure out you weren't... <laughs> I'm still not so sure. So you see the future. You can tell me when to dodge a bullet. <laughs> I wish. Uh, that's not how it works. I just get flashes. I don't control it, it just happens. And half the time I read it wrong. But Corgan was crazy about you. <laughs> I get it right just often enough. Oh, hell no! I'm not going anywhere with that bitch. Tana can't come with us. That wasn't the deal. In the truck, both of you. Chana, what do you think you're doing? Chana! Chana, listen to me for once. Where I am taking these two, there's no coming back. I didn't save your life again to watch you throw it all away. <laughs> That's what you're telling yourself now? You're my savior? It's pathetic. Fine. Next time you're in trouble, I won't think twice. I'll let you die, you stupid cow. Well, you gotta die somewhere. And if it's out there, at least I get to watch you go first. John. So long, fuckers. You're heading back across the minefield on foot? Better than where you're headed. Have fun getting yourselves killed. That's it. The quarry. We've got a plan to get us through alive. We have to make some modifications to the truck. You're not touching the truck. We have to seal the interior. Then with lithium perchlorate to generate oxygen and iron powder and lithium hydroxide to scrub CO2. English, please. The truck will be like a bubble. And we'll be safe inside so long as we have lithium to generate oxygen. That'll give us time to find the source of the signal. Would you expect me to magically pour more lithium out of my ass when our supply runs out? I can do without the snide remarks. The only source of lithium on Enoch comes from old batteries from Earth. Now, most of them were scavenged for parts long ago. But the mining operation's been inaccessible for years. There's bound to still be some of them around here. Simply put, we find the batteries, we get to live. Oh, better and better. Let's move. Thank you. I, I don't think that... Uh... You just got real lucky, old man. <clears throat> what if she comes with us? If we make it through, someone has to keep the briefcase and me safe when you're not around. Look, old man, I don't do charity work. No, no, please, we need you. Give me a break. She's playing us. This is her way of weaseling her way into our troop. She's spying for Corrigan. You see that in your crystal ball? Admit it, you psychopath. <laughs> you know I'm right. You couldn't pay me enough of whatever prize you're after, freak. We're tracking a signal that's coming from beyond the anomaly. When we find it, 
We're gonna reconnect to the Flores. And bring down those lost supply pods. Keep Dr. Zahidi alive. And keep your stupid mouth shut. And you'll get your share of the loot. Deal? Fucking believable. I know, I know, she's a pain in the ass. But, uh, well, if you lay a hand on her ever again, I'll run you over with this goddamn truck. I'm sensing some, uh, tension between you and Chana. Well, how fucking perceptive. They get visions like the fortune teller? Just what we need. More freaks for the freak show. Look. I was born and raised in Trench Town. Fought my way up every rung of the ladder. And that bitch, half what she sees is bullshit. But still, Corrigan gets a hard-on for magic mutants, and so he sends me after her. It's bullshit. What exactly do you do for Corrigan? Whatever the rest of the cannon fodder can't be trusted to do. Chasing that witch and dragging her ass back here. So you never have to see battle? Oh. I see battle all right. Just not the frontline kind. That's what we got the cannon fodder for. Jakob. You came here under orders. You don't have to go any further. Who's gonna keep this Dupec truck running, if not me? Don't worry, I know a thing or two. You! You remember nothing I taught you. What are you even going on this suicide mission for anyway? Because I believe there's a better world out there somewhere. <laughs> Doesn't matter where we go. We'll still be there to fuck it up. Yeah. Well, with that attitude... We got one shot at this. But let's be honest. Anyone who follows me out there today is probably gonna die. And we'll all be home for Christmas. How do I keep getting myself into this shit?
doesn't end this way. It can't. <laughs> Is that what your magic fucking fairy vision? Yeah, because it sure as hell doesn't look like we're getting out of here any... What? No. No, 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 it's okay. Something happens. <laughs> Who the hell are you? <coughs> hey, <coughs> where are you taking us? Who the hell are you people? All your questions will be answered when we reach Dr. Skurlock. <coughs> it's too late. We're not making it to any doctor. Stand down, or your people will die! You'll fucking die with them! I'm not threatening them, asshole! I'm trying to save them!